Today we are going to derive the expression for force due to self weight. We know that the weight density rho is ratio of weight to volume that means weight per volume. We can rewrite the equation as weight equal to weight density rho into volume. Consider a beam with length L and a self weight of W. Take an elemental strip of length dx and area A. That means rho into volume A into dx. The relation between force and self weight is force matrix F equal to integral transpose of shape function into self weight. We know that shape function is 1 minus x by L and x by L. So force matrix equal to integral 1 minus x by L x by L into self weight w. We can substitute the value of w as rho into adx. Rho and a are constant. Integrating the term with respect to dx, integral of 1 minus x by l which is x minus x square by 2 into l and x square by 2 into l. Applying the limit from 0 to L, rho into A, L minus L square by 2L, L square by 2L. Which is equal to rho into A, L by 2 and L by 2. Taking L by 2 as common, that means rho AL by 2, 1, 1. From this, we can get the force due to self weight. Force matrix equal to rho AL by 2 into 1, 1. Let's take a finite element analysis of a beam with self weight. A thin steel plate of uniform thickness 25 mm is subjected to a point load of 500 Newton at midpoint. The plate is also subjected to self weight. The given data is Young's modulus 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per millimeter square, weight density 0 0.8 into 10 raised to minus 4 Newton per millimeter square, and find the displacement at each node and stresses in each element. Let's discretize the whole beam into number of finite elements. We have the dimensions. The length of each bars are 100 mm and the width of the first bar is 100 mm and the second bar is 80. Let's divide the beam element number 1 and 2. Each element consists of two nodes. The element thickness is given as 25 mm. A 500 Newton force is applied at the midpoint of the bar. And also this beam is possessing a self weight also. Let's find the first question, displacement at each node. Before deriving the finite element equation, we have the additional forces here, that means the self weight of the beam. So starting from deriving the equation for force due to self weight.
we know the expression that force matrix equal to rho a l by 2 into 1 1 let's find the force due to self weight of element number 1 which is consist of node 1 and 2 so the force matrix f1 f2 equal to rho 1 a1 l1 divided by 2 1 1 weight density is given as 0 0.8 into 10 raised to minus 4 area of the element is 100 into the thickness 25 we know that the width of the first beam is 100 and the thickness is 25 that means area of cross section 100 into 25 that means 2500 millimeter square substituting the values Two thousand five hundred into length hundred divided by two, which yields F one F two equal to the total value ten one one. That means column matrix ten ten. Let's find the force due to self weight of element number 2, which consists of nodes 2 and 3. That means the force matrix F2, F3 equal to rho 2, A2, L2 divided by 2, 1, 1. The weight density is 0 0.8 into 10 raised to minus 4 into the area of cross section that means the width of the second bar is 80 and the thickness is 25 that means the total area of cross section 2000 millimeter square substituting the values 2000 into length 100 by 211 which yields the matrix column matrix 8 8 so we have the force due to self weight at every node so first we need to assemble the forces force at node f1 is 10 newton and the force at node 2 due to the self weight is 10 and the force due to the self weight of the element number 2 is 8. At the node 3, the force due to self weight is 8. And it is also given that an external force of 500 Newton is applied at node 2. That means the total force matrix will be 10, 580, and 8. Let's write down the finite element equation of each element to find out the displacements. Element 1 F1 F2 equal to E1 A1 divided by L1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 displacement U1 U2. Young's modulus is 2 into 10 raised to 5 area of cross section 2500 length 100 which yields 50 into 10 raised to 5 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 u1 u2 multiplying the term 50 the final equation will be f1 f2 equal to 10 raised to 5 50 minus 50 minus 50 50 u1 u2 let it be the equation number 1. Let's write down the finite element equation for element number 2. That means which consists of node 2 and 3. Force matrix 
f2 f3 equal to e2 a2 by l2 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 u2 u3 substituting the values young's modulus 2 into 10 raised to 5 area 2000 and length of the second element 100 which yields 40 into 10 raised to 5 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 u2 u3 the final equation will be f2 f3 equal to 10 raised to 5 40 minus 40 minus 40 40 u2 u3 let it be the equation number 2 now let's assemble the finite element equation force matrix equal to the stiffness matrix element number 1 50 minus 50 minus 50 50 element number 2 40 minus 40 minus 40 40 the middle value will be 50 plus 40 that means a total of 90 so the assembled finite element equation will be the force matrix the stiffness matrix 10 raised to 5 50 minus 50 minus 50 90 minus 40 minus 40 40 0 0 displacement matrix u1 u2 and u3 let it be the equation number 3 now let's apply the boundary condition to find the displacement at each nodes we have the force values at each node as f1 equal to 10 newton that means the self weight f2 equal to 518 that means the sum of self weight and the applied force and at the node 3 8 newton the node 1 is fixed that means the displacement at node 1 u1 will be 0 applying the boundary condition f1 f2 f3 the stiffness matrix The displacement matrix u1 0 u2 and u3 are unknown now we have the displacement at node 1 that means u1 is 0 so we can neglect the first row and column of the stiffness matrix that means our equation reduces to 10 raised to 5 into 90 u2 minus 40 u3 equal to 580 newton the second equation 10 raised to 5 into minus 40 u2 plus 40 u3 equal to 8 newton by solving these two equations we will get the value of u2 and u3 are u2 equal to 1.052 into 10 raised to minus 4 millimeter and u3 as 1.072 into 10 raised to minus 4 millimeter now let's find the second question stress in each element First element equation sigma 1 equal to Young's modulus into strain, that means u2 minus u1 by L1. Substituting the values, u2 is 1.052 into 10 raised to minus 4 and u1 is 0, which yields 0 0.2104 Newton per millimeter square. And the stress in element number 2. sigma 2 equal to e2 u3 minus u2 divided by l2 substituting the values u3 is 1.072 u2 is 1.052 the stress in element number 2 will be 0 0.004 newton per millimeter square 